Carrots and sticks are so last century. Drive says for 21st century work, we need to upgrade to autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Daniel H. Pink. Motivation needs an upgrade. Societies have operating systems, just like computers. Many organizations, cultures, even families operate on an old, out-of-date motivation operating system built around external rewards and punishments. This is Motivation 2.0, which has now been proven scientifically to be incompatible with how we organize what we do, how we think about what we do, and how we do what we do. Below that, Motivation 1.0 is pure survival. The problem with Motivation 2.0 is that it crushes creativity, diminishes performance, creates addictions, and it fosters short-term thinking. What it also does is destroy the more valuable motivation within, intrinsic motivation. Intrinsic we'll call type I. Type I behavior is less concerned with external rewards and is more satisfied with the activity itself. Type I's are made. So if you've happened to be extrinsically motivated your whole life, have faith, there is hope. For personal and professional success, it's important to move ourselves from extrinsically motivated to intrinsically motivated. And just so we're clear, extrinsic is high risk of becoming unfulfilled. It is reaching for the external, material validation and satisfaction. It's a high chance of sad results. We need an upgrade. Science has found a beautiful way containing three essential elements. The first one is autonomy, the desire for you to direct your own life. The second is mastery, the pull to make progress and get better at something that matters. And three is purpose, the yearning to do what you want to do in the service of something greater than yourself. Intrinsic motivation, type I behavior, leads to greater health and vitality higher probability of fulfillment, and stronger performance. By default, we all want to be free. We want to be the architects of our own lives. We want to be able to self-direct our own destinies. Unfortunately, in many organizations, they have outdated notions of management that lead people from type I to type X. People need autonomy over what they do, when they do it, and how they do it. Many organizations have found inventive and creative ways to incorporate autonomy and it's helping to outperform the competitors. One quick example is Google. Google allows employees to have autonomy. One fifth of their working hours is for working on any project that they want. This autonomy has created great things like Gmail, Google News, and so much more. Encouraging autonomy is important, but it does not mean discouraging accountability. Control leads to compliance. Autonomy leads to engagement. Motivation 2.0, the rewards punishment motivation requires compliance, whereas motivation 3.0 demands engagement. Engagement is what produces mastery. Progress in your work turns out to be the most motivating asset of many jobs. So where do you begin with mastery? The answer is flow. Optimal experiences when the challenges we face are exquisitely matched to our abilities. Instead of having just bland day-to-day -day tasks, have what the book calls Goldilocks tasks. Tasks that are not too hard and not too easy. Challenge yourself, but get it done. The too easy tasks prohibit our growth, whereas the too hard tasks add too much complexity to the problem and overwhelm us, which leads to analysis paralysis. I did a whole video on that. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go more in depth on analysis paralysis. So the idea is to be in the sweet spot. Tasks that are not too hard, but are not too easy either. Mastery and purpose. Mastery has three rules. Mastery is a mindset because it requires you to see your ability not perfect, but infinitely improvable. Mastery is a pain because it requires effort, deliberate practice, 
failure, trial and error, and grit. Mastery is asymptote, because the overall lifetime result is impossible to fully realize, which makes it frustrating as well as alluring. In Motivation 3.0, purpose maximization is taking its place alongside profit maximization as an aspiration and a guiding principle. Humans are naturally inclined to seek purpose, to be part of a greater cause, and to make contribution in the world. Traditional business have not prioritized purpose and autonomy which leads to unfulfilled workers. It's much more valuable for an individual and organization to adopt a new method of motivation, purpose motivation. Purpose motivate expresses itself in three ways, in words that emphasize beyond self-interest, in goals that use profit to reach purpose, and in policies that allow people to pursue purpose on their own terms. Just imagine, how much more fulfilled will we all become when we have upgraded our operating system? Becoming intrinsically motivated, living a life full of purpose, mastery, vitality, contribution, and freedom. How can my motivational force go from a push energy, a swim against the current energy? Go from that to being pulled. Pulled is way better. Purpose, mastery, and freedom. All of those things can pull us towards our destiny. Thank you for watching this book summary on Drive, The Surprising Truth About What Motivates Us by Daniel H. Pink. Subscribe now for more valuable learning and personal growth content. I left a link to buy the book in the description below. Comment what other books you feel would be awesome to see animated into a summary. And until the next video, remember, always be learning, always be creating, and always be inspired.